that we are developing now is actually harmful. It isn't hurting you. It isn't helping you to think this way. It infuriates me that we can sit up here and be arrogant about, oh, it shouldn't matter. I don't know why it matters. It shouldn't matter. It does matter. It matters. And now what? You can make whatever decision you want to make on the other side of it, but it matters. What's up? And guess what? It mattering means you matter because you shouldn't give away something that is so precious that can bring about diseases and children and all of the above. You should not be haphazard with that. You shouldn't. It should be special. It should mean something. Your body should mean something to the person that you are sleeping with. It shouldn't be something like, oh, I just decided to hit up whatever on a Sunday night because I wanted to and I didn't have to put no work in and I didn't really have to know her last name and I didn't really have to know anything about her, but I can go up and see her naked and enter her body. Absolutely not. That's not casual. I don't care what nobody says. Hey y'all, it's your girl Samantha Lee and I'm here to do another video for you guys. Before I get started, I want to first let you know that you can be a part right now of my Game Changer Nation. And you just hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you are kept updated to what I am posting. Your girl is posting content almost daily, y'all. We're going to get into this video. All right, so the video that I am going to do today is Modern Woman Says This About Body Count. It is from the Whatever Podcast. So I'm going to go and hit the play button. Without further ado, let's get into it. Do you think it's wrong for men, or do you think men should not have a preference for women to not be promiscuous and have a low body count? I don't think men should have an opinion. You don't think men should have an opinion? Mm. No, like on, on body count. Like <laughs> on body count. Look, we, he, he's saying a preference, like a guy. Oh. So, for, for example, guys typically, when they're choosing a woman they want to settle down with, they don't want a chick that has been completely ran through. So, this guy, if y'all notice, I'm going to roll back. Let's, it's only a couple seconds, y'all. I ain't going to do too much. Look at his face. Do you think it's wrong for men, or do you okay. think men should not have a preference for I'm women? Pause it. I'm going to pause it. To not be promiscuous and have a low body count. So, you can see his face. Hold on. I don't think men should have an opinion. You don't think men should have an opinion? Look at his face. Did y'all see his face? He is like, I am not playing with y'all. I am not playing with y'all today. And I think what's so interesting about this young woman is it's so clear that first she's young, right? Number one, she's very young. But number two, that because of society's messages about, no, you shouldn't have an opinion, you shouldn't have an opinion, she seems very impressionable, right? I don't know if you got that vibe, but I got the vibe. She's very impressionable. And so it's like you can already tell that like, she doesn't have a firm position in this. She's saying it because she feels like that's the right thing to say. She's not saying it out of conviction. And so I think it's kind of sad and it goes to why I'm doing what I'm doing because there's a lot of conditioning going on, y'all. And uh, we got to stay, stay alert to what's happening. They don't want a chick that has been completely ran through. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So he's asking. So you, what about preference. a man that's ran through? Like, why do we only use we the can, term ran through on. against woman? Okay, we can get to that later, but let's just first get through the let's, question. So let's, let's stick. Let's stay on the point. Let's point. Yes. <laughs> so would you have an issue, or do you think it's wrong for a guy to have a preference? Think, think about ran through, right? And I'm I'm not saying that whatever running through something in my mind ran through doesn't sound like the man is running through because his stuff is external, ran through would be the woman because it's internal, because you're you're running through them. Does that make sense? Does that make, does that make sense or am I just, y'all, you know I'm an overthinker, y'all. Maybe I just, I digress. Let's get back into it. <laughs> to date a woman who's not promiscuous and who has a low body count. Personally, I would prefer if they didn't have that preference, but I know- How, what? No, 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 no. You would prefer if a man doesn't have standards? He doesn't have standards for a woman who has sexual integrity? Just like you probably would prefer a man who have, probably hasn't cheated or something to that effect. So why is that problematic or even an issue that he doesn't, that he has a preference on whether or not a woman has a high or a low amount of men that she's been with? You're probably going to ask him about his ex. And you're going to probably ask him about how many exes he's had in his last relationship, how long it was. That's normal woman questions. 
So him having a preference as to, you know what, I don't really want a woman who's been with a lot, has sexually given herself to a lot of different men. You can't be mad at people's preferences. You can respect them and either say, you know what, I'm not that and move on. But you can't be mad at that. You can't, we can't say, oh, well, I prefer you not to have those preferences, but I'm going to keep my preferences because they serve me. But the preferences that don't serve me, I don't like. I know a lot of men do. I would love to understand why. I've never really had what? a conversation with a guy of what? why they feel like. Girl, hold on. Hold on, y'all. You don't understand why a man wouldn't want. That's how you know she's not firm in her position, y'all. That's how you know she's a young woman that's just been conditioned by society to say what she's saying. Because you don't know why a man wouldn't want to be with a woman that has been with a lot of different men. Why they would want a woman that has practiced some type of sexual restraint or sexual integrity is not just giving her body away to men who have not committed to her, who have just, you know come through, send her a text message and sleeping with that man. Like, no, why is that wrong for a man to have that preference, y'all? Why? Because it doesn't serve us. And I think that women take it so personal, but it's like we don't allow men to have what they have or their preferences. Like they can't want what they want and stand on it unapologetically because they can get trashed on the internet for saying they want certain things or within their families or when their friend circles, they can be trashed for their preferences. He can't say that he wants a woman that's exercised some type of restraint sexually or hasn't had sex at all. Come on, y'all. I think it's obvious what the issue is. He don't want you to have been with a whole lot of dudes. I don't know a man that does want that. I really don't. I mean, there may be men that overlook it, you know, like, oh, I don't mind it. But they take that into consideration. They want to know at least. It matters to men. I don't care what kind of man you deal with. It matters to men. It really does. It does matter. And now whether they decide to deal with you, if they decide to date you, that's upon each man, right? But does it matter? Absolutely. It does matter. Men. Or why they feel most men. Be ran most. I have to say um, most men because some men don't care. I mean, there's probably a very small fraction, but so I love to hear. Um, so perspective. before before we do give our take on this, I do want to give everyone an opportunity to answer before we share. So go ahead. So I think there's a lot of guys that have like really high body count, but still will ask for a girl to have like a body count less than ten. It's kind of like hypocrite. Okay, so we can address the double standard thing, but let's assume that he has a low body count too. If he does and he's like asking for a girl with low body count, then yes, because that's his preference. But it okay. should, like, I don't think a woman should be judged over her body count either. Okay, so the double standard, like if, if the guy has a high body count, then he shouldn't have... Yeah, and you shouldn't ask for... Okay, we'll come back to that. Go ahead. I agree. I don't think it's a man's business to know a woman's body count because either way, women can lie. I don't really think, like you said, that there's signs that a woman has a high body count. I don't think that's true. <laughs> you roll your eyes at me, but I just think it's funny that you just get so... Okay, I'm not going to say that. at $49.99. Oh, if a woman is going to have a preference about a man's money, he will have a preference about a woman's body count. This is non-negotiable. We all have preferences. Thank you, for the, Alvin, for the $50 super chat, man. Appreciate all the support. Continue on with your point. Am I going to ask a man, oh, what's your body count? You no, could. I know, but it, I don't care, to uh, be honest. Well, that is a bit of a difference between men and women, generally speaking. Yeah, women but why, care far less about it than but men why, do. But why is it so important for a woman to have a low body count? We'll get to that. We'll address that. I just want to give everyone an opportunity to uh, speak. Go ahead. First, I don't think a woman's value is fully defined or defined with their body count. But with that said, I do think a man is entitled to have a preference. Okay. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, men are entitled to have their preferences. But with that being said, someone who does have a high body count is no longer worthy of love. Carson, can you just close the door? Go ahead. Yeah, I think it's fine to have a preference. I don't care what other people's preferences are, but I think just move on to another girl then. There are girls with low body counts if you want them. It's not like... Okay, sis, it's a preference. Ain't nobody saying that you have to be that or you have to lower your number in order to be in that situation. You just know that certain types of men with the point of it is to say that there's going to be certain the certain types of guys that are just not going to handle or be with women with higher body counts. And this fallacy that we are being sold that it doesn't matter how many men we decide to give our body away to is not true. Men do look at that. They take that into account. 
most men, and I'm not saying every man, but they care about how their woman is being presented. They want to be ultimately with a woman that is of respect, of valor, that when they bring this woman into a room with other people, that they're not embarrassed or ashamed of how she's presented herself and what she represents. They want to be proud of the woman they have children with. The point of this is not to say, oh, well, figure it out. The point is to say that, listen, this is a factor and this is a preference. And it's okay for a man to have that preference. It's okay for that. Everybody's entitled to their preferences. And even if they weren't, they gonna have them anyway. They just may not tell you about it. I don't understand why is it because the nature of society now that we can sell our souls for a dollar and we don't want to be shamed for that choice. I get that. Listen, do you boo? Ain't nobody saying, ain't nobody hating on that. It's just understanding that certain men ain't going to have nothing to do with you. And unfortunately, the higher the value of that man, now he's got options, higher value, higher options. He's not going to want to deal with a woman who has been known to have easily been accessed. That's just the reality of it. He's hard to get. He wants his woman to be hard to get. What's the problem with that? Scarce. Like, it's, it's possible. It's, <laughs> it's pretty scarce, but, are, uh, but it's yeah. pretty scarce. But go ahead. You could have your own opinion, but I don't think I would date a guy who would want me to have a low body count. If that's his, like, um, his what's the word like i must have like a low body count for him to like date me something like that okay natasha i would respect if a guy wanted a low body count because i also feel that way towards guys like there's a certain threshold that they can have to the point where i'm like oh maybe i shouldn't be with this person mm -hmm. okay so before me and john come in most of you said body count shouldn't matter doesn't matter whatever so if body count doesn't matter if it shouldn't matter what is your body count natasha we'll start with you <laughs> I look, you know, you saw him. Do you see where I just paused? Do you see how he has looked to the side? Okay. It don't matter. All right. Go ahead and say it. Why would you have to lie about something that doesn't matter? Or should it matter? Or whatever you think it is. Why is that? I'll wait. That's what he's doing. He doing the out. Okay. All right. Well, start with Natasha. Go ahead. Say your body count. Oh, but that's too personal. I'm not going to answer that here because it does matter. That's my whole point, y'all. Young women, if you're watching me right now, I'm looking straight at you. I know what society's telling you. I know what the world is, is like, oh, be this and that and the third. I want to tell you, you are valuable. I want to tell you, you are worthy. And unfortunately, unless you hold your value and unless you say, hey, listen, I don't want to be giving my goods out to the, the highest bidder. This is or to whoever, whoever, whoever comes around me. I'm not just going to allow myself to be easily accessed. It's going to be hard for men to value you right? You're not going to be able to reach a certain men that won't touch you when they feel as though, well, they may touch you, but they ain't going to like wife you long-term, have family, things like that. There's going to be certain things, certain ways, even if you do, there's going to be certain ways they treat you that may be different from other women because they may not have as much respect for you and don't tell you that. So they may objectify you and they may do things to you that they wouldn't do to another woman that they respect because of how you've presented yourself. So as much as we want to receive the message that it doesn't matter, it does. And I want you to know that you are valued, you are valuable, and you should treat yourself like you are valuable. That it's not just for anybody or for everybody. I feel that very passionately because I see women giving it away for a like or a dollar. And I understand circumstances, but it hurts my heart. Because you mean so much. You matter so much. You've been fearfully and wonderfully made. Wait, you just asked my body count? Yeah. I would rather not say. You've shared it before. Yeah, but I realize I don't really want to say it again. <sighs> Natasha, you're killing me. All right, Cynthia? I would prefer not to say. I also prefer not to say. Um, just out of respect for my family. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the, for the family. Who's, who's the gangster who's going to actually come in and share? Go ahead. Yeah, I would rather not say. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going to say. Oh One girl <laughs> starts off with domino effects. Go ahead. Good. I won't say. I'm sorry. I prefer not to say. Okay, so you refuse to share, yet you think body count doesn't matter. Thus, because, Yeah, because if I say I'm going to be judged. Thus, some... Any, hold on. No stop, matter what. Not. Meaning that it does matter, sis. Y'all, I could jump. It matters. None of these women wanted to share it. And it's their personal business. Absolutely. And I know that a lot of women lie. Like, I know women lie about their body count. Okay, we know. 
men tend to exaggerate it. Women tend to diminish it. We know that we're, if we really like a guy or whatever, we're going to make it seem like it's a really small number and we haven't really been with that many dudes and blah, 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 blah. But the reality of it all is that if you don't feel that you can share it, especially one young lady was like, out of respect for my family, it matters. Just say it matters. Maybe you don't want it to matter, but it does. Golly. It's interrupting. Period. Somewhere. Martin, <laughs> stop interrupting. Ladies, Sorry. this is hurting my brain. <laughs> Studies have empirically shown that women with higher body counts are far more likely to divorce. The same is not true for men. It's biology. You release oxytocin during... During relations, that's the pair bonding hormone. So deep down, even though you guys say body count doesn't matter, your refusal to share it would indicate to me that it matters. You know it matters. And that's why you refuse to share it. Yes. It doesn't matter to me, but it matters to you guys. So I'm not going to go and put myself out here and say my body count just for you two to ridicule me or we're not say gonna, something. We're not going to ridicule you. This guy you. has been saying stuff the whole time. I I don't need your I, body count I, I to ridicule him, you. I said, he, <laughs> I said he's insecure and he proceeded to call me a hey, and insult look, me. Look, we've moved on from that. Let it go. Let Just, it go. It's I over. haven't. He hasn't apologized. I'm not ashamed of y'all. I actually covered this clip none knowingly. This is one of my shorts. I don't even. I remember this dynamic. I like forgot. So I actually did a short with these two in it, and it shows what she's referring to because he she called him insecure, and he he's like B word. I had I just met you five minutes ago. Yeah, I actually covered this. My body count gonna go, and if like my partner, potential partner, is interested in knowing, I'm not fearful of sharing that with them but if these people don't need to know so it's like yeah if it didn't matter then you would just be like oh here's my body count like, to my boom, boom. partner yes well no just outwardly general, but, you, but you acknowledge general. that it is something that maybe not all men but that some men do care about and it is also some women would judge you for it too true yes that's true. actually when women are ha have a disagreement with each other often the first insult that they hurl at the mm -hmm. other yeah. that chick's a slut that's the first thing they go to because so women will shame women on it too. So I'd like to um, back up what she's saying. I feel like a discussion right. of your body count mm -hmm. is a discussion for somebody that you're comfortable with and that you're sleeping with. I'm not sleeping with anybody here, so I'm not going to answer that because I feel like things should be kept private and you should be, I don't know, like Brian, are you going to share your body count? Are you, is he well, going to share his body count? So why are we only getting asked for our body count? Well, I can't speak for John. Me personally, I think body count matters. So I'm not going to share my body count because I think it matters. But John, you, I don't know if you want to share yours. If he shares it, will y'all share it? No. One well, for one? One for one? How about you? Since you two have been flirting with each other all night, I'm thinking, uh, <laughs> I'm thinking if he says it, you say it. How about that? Gentlemen's agreement? Fine. Oh, okay. There we go. John, go ahead. Ladies first. 11. Only 11, really? <laughs> Do you think I'm... Why did he say that? Ran through? No, I'm just... Mine's like 250. 250. So body count matters to you when it comes to a woman? Yes. So, but it's okay for you to have a high body count. Yeah, kind of like it doesn't... You don't then care. Then your opinion is bullshit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because it's the same thing double for you. Double standards. Same I'm not going to listen to double standards. Because you, you, so. you wouldn't date a guy shorter than you. Yeah, but body count come on guy can't lie about his height here's the, here's the thing about what she this is where the disillusion comes in okay men and women have different reasons for what they do okay biology that's deep but he's basically saying okay height just because i'm short my preference is wrong to be with somebody that's tall well if you're short then you should date somebody who's short no you five five so you should date somebody who's five five no i want to date somebody who's taller oh you make this amount of money, so you can't be mad at me because I make this amount of money. No, I want to make, uh, I want to date a man with a certain amount. You know, like we have so many preferences. And I think I put out another short where he was like, okay, just because you want a man that's smart doesn't mean that you're dumb. Just because you want a man that's tall doesn't mean that you're this. Like he just brought up all the back and forth. It's not about like we get into double standards and tip for tat and all this stuff. And it really doesn't matter. Men prefer what they prefer. Women prefer what they prefer. And women have been known to want things that they are not. 
and can sometimes be completely unrealistic in their assessment. But yet a man has a certain preference and he's this and that and the third and that's double standards. That's wrong and blah, 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 blah. You shouldn't feel this way and it shouldn't matter. But it does matter. And it's always mattered. And we're trying to change it now, but it is what it is. And it actually is to protect you. You were designed in a certain way divinely by God. And it was this type of rhetoric and thought process that we are developing now is actually harmful. It isn't hurting you. It isn't helping you to think this way. It infuriates me. That we could sit up here and be arrogant about, oh, it shouldn't matter. I don't know why it matters. It shouldn't matter. It shouldn't. Ma it does matter. It matters. It matters. It matters. And, and now what? You can make whatever decision you want to make on the other side of it, but it matters. What's up? It matters. And guess what? It mattering means you matter because you shouldn't give away something that is so precious that can bring about diseases and children and all of the above. You should not be haphazard with that. You shouldn't. It should be special. It should mean something. Your body should mean something to the person that you are sleeping with. It shouldn't be something like, oh, I just decided to hit up whatever on a Sunday night because I wanted to and I didn't have to put no work in and I didn't really have to know her last name and I didn't really have to know anything about her, but I can go up and see her naked and enter her body. Absolutely not. That's not casual. I don't care what nobody says. Right. So would, would you be offended if a woman didn't want to be with you? Your ideal woman didn't want to be with you because of your body count? No. I mean, if she, if she, your it, ideal 10 out of 10 Victoria's Secret model. So let's say my ideal woman, 10 out of 10, does reject me because I have a high body count. What can I do? Nothing. You, it's, it's done. So then you just asked me a question just to like. But like, are you, would you be like offended by that? If my ideal woman walked away from me, yes, I would be offended. So that means that body count does matter. I just don't understand why it matters, well, I, why you can have a high body count, but yeah. God forbid the woman that you're seeing has a high body count. Well, let me finish. There's answering. a lot of differences. Like, Go ahead. Yeah, I was what are the answering. differences, men and hold women? Well, like, let them, let them address. Difference. Hold on. Let them address that, her like, question. Like how, like your the quality of a relationship you can provide her. Yeah, for sure. So your body count does. A, on her end, yeah, things will come up. On her end? Okay. If she has a high body count, yeah. It's like no, statistically. Like if she doesn't and you do, do you think that like. So. Should she believe you won't give her a quality relationship? She could believe that if she wants to, but I demonstrated my day-to-day -day life. Like I've got my shit together. I've got my shit together at a very high level. So I, I can operate a, man, a relationship no problem. But what I'm trying to say is that if you look at the empirical data, it does show that high body count negatively affects women way more then it negatively affects men. However, it does negatively affect men. However, the threshold is far higher for men, way higher. But it also lowers relationships, satisfaction in men, marriage happiness as well. High body count's not good for men or women, but men have a way higher threshold than women. Infidelity too. Infidelity is as well. a higher likelihood for both men and women yeah. if the uh, body count is higher. Mm. Yeah. And, and they've, they've done studies on it. So I can see the point of like why someone would be concerned if they're dating someone with a high body count, this and that. But it doesn't mean like this person with a high body count isn't going to settle down and be like the correct partner for somebody. Uh, yeah. But, but well, I agree. But also, I will say I've gone through a lot of therapy. I've gone through a lot of self work. A lot, a lot, a lot. Because the high body count and people going out there participating in this like casual hookup culture, this stuff that's typically a symptom of something deeper going on i love that he's saying this and he's being fair i think in this panel it shows that women in this panel not saying in life because i know a lot of rational fair uh women that can be objective but i see the women in this specific panel that cannot see outside of the point that they're trying to make whereas he's making a point he's also saying that yeah it hurts both parties to have a higher body count. It's not good for either party to be out here like that, but it affects women's decision-making more when it comes in terms of filing for divorce or cheating. If you have a higher body count, you're more likely to divorce. If you have a higher body count, you're more likely to cheat. And he's also making a very good point that he's had to do a lot of work because he realized that the amount of women that he was sleeping with was a symptom of another issue. And that is beautiful. Thank you, sir. I don't know you, but I thank you for being open and in sharing your truth, even though you have this back and forth with this one young lady who, who is not feeling you on any level. But at the end of the day, 
I think that it's very true that on both sides, if we are giving ourselves away freely to people or putting ourselves out there in a way, it does affect you. There's a reason. There's a deep seated reason that needs to be addressed when you do your work, therapy, things of that nature to understand the why. So I appreciate him sharing that and being so transparent. On inside of that person. And it's just being acted out. You know what I mean? In, mm-hmm. in, in, a, in a form of like sexual expression. Other people may choose gambling. Other people may choose drugs, food, you know, being addicted to social media. But it's usually due to some unresolved trauma that yeah. carrying around with them. Very good. True. And you mentioned that just because someone's was promiscuous in the past or they have a high body count, but something in psychology, the best predictor of future behavior is past past behavior. behavior. Yes. And this is no less true in the realm of sexual behavior. Let me, let me say that again. The best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. Somebody need to write that down. The best indicator of future behavior is past behavior. A lot of us are hoping, wishing, praying for someone to do something they've never done. They want them to make a decision, make a choice, make a change they have never chosen to make for themselves. And we are praying and hoping and wishing for that to happen. And that's literally insanity. I don't know why that dropped in my spirit just now, but if someone's in your life and they have not changed and you're waiting for that moment to miraculously, they change. You could pray for them, but you still have to identify someone by their fruit. That's biblical. A really strong predictor of marital infidelity is one's number of premarital sexual partners. Mm. Also higher chance of STD, higher chance of reporting relationship dissatisfaction, Mm. higher chance of infidelity. Women who sleep around more have less orgasms, have less fulfilling Mm. relationships. I mean, there's a book that just came out last year. It's really good. It's called, it's called the molecule of more. And it's talk about dopamine Mm -hmm. and they talk about this and in depth in great studies. So you were talking a bit about the double standard, right? I think the double standard was the thing that kind of frustrated you a little bit that it's okay for a man to have a high body count. If a guy has a high body count, he shouldn't have a preference for a woman with a low body count. Is that kind of a fair assessment of the double standard that you see as uh, wrong, so to speak? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is probably the most emotional reaction I've had because I feel so strongly about how young women today are being conditioned to treat themselves and their bodies as whatever. You know, I don't want to get into it, but objectifying themselves, you know, that really, really hurts me because it's not even good for you. It's indicative of so many other things and it leads down so many other roads. And then later on, when you finally wake up and you're like, wow, you know what? This is not how I want to live my life. This is not the decisions I want to continue to make. It's already too late. The pictures are already out there. The videos are already out there. The choices have already been made. And now, just like the guy at the end, he's saying, well, I just have to take the L because what am I going to do? If I've already done this and she doesn't like it, I can't change what I've already done. I'm trying to stop you from making that decision. I'm trying to show you that it does matter, that you matter, that your body matters. And I know that you're going to feel a lot of external pressure to fall in line with what everybody else is doing and how everybody else is moving and how they're giving their bodies away so casually. I don't want you to fall into that. I know that maybe virginity may may be a far cry. You know, I understand that. But there's a way to have sexual integrity. There is a way to value yourself and treat yourself as though you are valuable, that you're not for anyone and everyone to see. You're for that person. That person will in return respect and value you more because of those different choices that you make that may not be popular, but they're virtuous, but they're valuable. They're full of integrity. I want to go ahead and let you guys know if you want to be a part of my Game Changer Nation and family, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, be part of the Game Changer Nation, hit the notification bell if you want to see content, more content when it first comes up. I love you guys. Have a great night and I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you guys. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button, y'all. Let's not just be every once in a while. Let's become family, okay? Friends that are family. Okay, join my family today.